Joy Soto. Um, I was the program manager. I am in transition to the executive director of the Youth Commission. And I'm Nikki Adeli. I'm the Philadelphia Youth Commissioner to Mayor Michael Nutter. Um, so the Youth Commission in a nutshell is 21 youth um, appointed by the council members and four from the mayor's office. Uh, right now we have a current of 13 um, commissioners, so we're looking to, for eight more seats. Um, what we're working on right now is we have monthly meetings. So our first meeting was this past Wednesday. It was about public safety. We actually had a lieutenant from the South Philly Mini District come and, you know, what's going on nationally, talk to the youth about what's going on. Here in Philly, um, it was really open, uncensored. They talked to them about what they've been going through, either positive or negative, and vice versa. He talked to them. Um, our next one will be February 4th. Um, we're looking at city council chambers. We try to, you know, we had it here in the Innovation Lab, um, thankfully, and then we try to, you know, give different experience to the youth. Um, one of our problems is reaching out to the youth in schools and after school programs. Um, our age range is 12 to 23. Um, you don't have to be a part of the youth commission to come to the meetings. They're completely open. You know, we're looking for youth to, you know, come and talk about their issues, their problems, positive things going on in school, outside of school. Um, each, each of our meetings focus on um, our four committees, public safety, health and relations, um, rec recreation, job and economics, education. and education. Um, so our youth commissioners also have um, testified in front of city council. Um, Nikki has actually testified in front of city council about education, about the education uh, budget cuts um, from better funding. Um, things that we will be working on. Um, the Bully Project is a national initiative. They contacted us to do some screenings. Um, we also will be putting on uh, our second teen and youth um, opportunities and jobs fair with um, Fun Safe Filling the Policy Office, through the mayor's office. Um, last year we had almost 2,000 uh, youth, ages 14 and 21, show up. Um, so it's something huge, nothing that happens before. We're trying to, you know, tailor it this time, and we're actually going to be working with um, Peace Box <coughs> in hopefully in libraries and parks and rec um, locations to have um, a four-day um, actual uh, job fair online, so it's, you know, we're reaching out to more youth. Um, we're looking, like I said, community um, participation, um, not just the youth, but also, you know, teachers, whoever works with youth. Um, if you have programming, we're not trying to steal your youth, um, just kind of incorporate more um, and collaborate. Um, we also on our Facebook, our website, our Twitter. Um, I have cards. I have um, a one page that can can give a little more about the commission. Um, that you know we, we promote um, either scholarships, resources, anything you want. We can promote um, that covers that age range. Um, and it's also a great opportunity for youth to really have their voices heard in the commu communities that they live in, within their district or um, the city that they live in as well. Yeah, our commissioners have meetings with the mayor. They have, have meetings with the um, city council members. You know, I tell them that you need to take this opportunity, this one-year term, um, seriously, because I don't even get you know meetings with the mayor that often. Um, but you're sitting here with him, and he's here taking the time to listen to you. That majority of us don't have that opportunity. And our six words are. Philly investing in young social leaders. Cool.